Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to be talking about AC power and instantaneous power. So let's first look at what AC means. We know that there is two different types of uh, currents, AC, DC and then AC. DC meaning direct current. AC meaning alternating current. And these two different currents can be des described by two different things. Direct meaning that the current is traveling unidirectional. And for alternating current, it is bidirectional. So one, we have a, let's draw two circuits here. So basically, we have a current traveling through this circuit. And this is what we call unidirectional, DC. And here, we can draw two different arrows, one traveling clockwise and one traveling counterclockwise. And that can be described as AC. So now let's define power. Power in electrical engineering is in watts and that equation P meaning power is equal to voltage multiplied by current. Now that we know what AC is and now what we know is power let's combine these two terms together so AC power meaning that P is equal to VI in alternating current form. So how do we explain this now? AC power, P is equal to VI. We need a little bit more specific uh, definition to define what AC power is. What we do know about AC is that if we draw a graph and we have a current, alternating current, that basically means that it is bidirectional. It travels clockwise and counterclockwise in a circuit. And that is why our current will look like this, like a, a sinusoidal wave, so to speak. And having that sinusoidal wave, our current will vary. And that's why we would have, we can define it as IT. Now IT, over a specific period of time would change and would vary. I forgot to draw a time domain here to specify our current waveform. And this is a very basic example to explain how AC works. Is that at this moment, we can say that it's traveling clockwise, and at this particular moment, it's traveling counterclockwise. Let's draw these two different boundaries to explain that. So now that we've defined what our current waveform is, then our voltage would also be different. And our voltage would have their own, you know, si uh, voltage waveform. So understanding that in AC, we have alternating current, the power is going to change as well. That is why in this video, I'm also going to be talking about instantaneous power. Instantaneous power is the power that can be determined by any given period of time. 
and given the uh, the knowledge of i over t and v over t, we can take both of these terms and then to determine our instantaneous power that can also be defined as our AC power. So what we do is we take V over T, multiply that by I over T, and what we get is P over T. And this P over T would be our instantaneous power. So this is the basis of what AC power is and how to define that what we do know is that when it's in AC, our current's going to vary. So that's why we have IT, and then we will have VT. And then utilizing that knowledge of instantaneous power, we can determine our AC power given the period of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.